Hey everybody, Pete and I are sitting in the garage. We're going to do a yard walk today. I believe it's like today's the 29th of August. That's where we're at here. We got 61 Apache 10. It's a half ton long bed. Uh, six cylinder, 235. Runs, drives. Just got a fresh brake job here. Really nice two ton patina truck. It needs glass, needs a little TLC. Got like a little door ripple here. Doors real solid, but needs that dent pulled. Still have some original bed wood left. Uh, really not missing anything besides like hubcaps. Gun rack still in the back window. Truck runs and drives really, really good. Um, this would be a good one for somebody to buy and do like tires, glass, maybe a little bit of lighting, and then you're going down the road. We're asking 14,000 on this truck. Make me an offer on it if you like it, if you're serious, if you want to own it, make me an offer, especially this week. Got a good title on this one too. Here we got a 59. Uh, Apache 3200, so it's a half ton long bed. Factory visor on this truck, runs, drives. Don't believe this one has brakes. Can't remember if we did brakes on this one or not. This is the one that has a title issue. So this title is in Joe's name and then Tom is already reassigned. I couldn't get a hold of either party there to do anything with the title, whether somebody pulled a duplicate or they put it in their name. The title's kind of locked up, there's nothing I can do with it. So this truck is on the cheaper end of things, runs, drives. Really nice patina. That visor is worth a thousand, eighty-five hundred bucks on this truck. Or, like I said, make me an offer. I'll look at the numbers, see what I can do. Uh, Sixty-two Chevy C10, big window, deluxe cab, half-ton long bed, V8, two eighty-three under the hood. Runs, drives, stops. Truck runs phenomenal. It is like dead silent when it's idling No smoke. Would be a really, really good driver with again maybe a windshield dependent on your state. This one's not nearly as bad as the other one. You can really see all around that high crack in the windshield. Tires, a little bit of wiring, make brakes, taillights, stuff like that work. Not the brakes, but brake lights, the headlights, turn signals, that kind of thing. We did the brakes on this one. Again, ask it 14,000 on this one. If you're interested, make me an offer on it. Got a good title on it as well. Here we got 52 Ford F1. This is just a roller. I will have title on this one soon. Real solid truck, Oklahoma truck. Asking 7,500 bucks on this one with a title. Here we got 56 GMC. It's called a fleet option. This was a stripped down uh, working man's truck from the factory. Didn't have the, the typical 56 GMC grill in it. Cheaper grill, didn't have bed steps. No frills on the inside, like no upholstery in the doors. I don't think they had a headliner in them. I think it's all steel. No radio, nothing like that. I don't think they had a, they might have had an ashtray. Really hard to find truck, these fleet options, believe it or not. We're asking 12.5 on this one. This one runs, drives, stops, did a brake job. Under the hood, this would be a probably a 248 six cylinder. Really cool truck, great patina, came out of Montana, got a title on it. 12.5, make me an offer if you're interested in it. Got 31 Buick, just found a VIN number today. So I will be pulling a title on this car today. It will take two months or so to get it back. 31 Buick, I think it's a 60 series sport coupe, rumble seat, golf club storage on the uh, passenger side. All original car, missing drivetrain. It had a straight eight in it. The motor was actually where I got the car from, but the motor was in literally every single piece it could come apart into. I had no interest in that. It was just milk crates and milk crates full of small engine parts and then the big straight eight block. I don't think anybody's going to be using it anyway. No rot in this car anywhere. All of its original paint. Awesome patina. It's destined to be a hot rod anyways. Original upholstery still inside. It's just incredible. It's like a time capsule. We're asking 12.5 on this car. Not super negotiable. I have a standing offer of 10 on it. So if you're interested, now's the time. This week is the time. Yeah, I said I was going to keep this got wood truck, but we're getting into the time of year where I'm like, get it out the door before it snows. I already had my big party at my house. I don't I think I'm gonna have one for a while. So if anybody's interested in this truck, has a title, it's a half ton short bed Ford F1, really cool tree in the front. I really don't know on value on that truck. It, it's probably 6,500 bucks. If you're interested, let me know, good title on it. 63 GMC, this was in my kind of personal hoard. Two door Suburban, killer patina. I was gonna keep it and do the LS stuff in it. And, Ended up buying the International, it was already done and already running and driving. So 12.5 on this one, good title, no motor. I might still have the original motor laying around here if anybody's interested in it. It was a locked up 305 six cylinder V6. That was the original engine. Nonetheless, awesome patina, no rot in the floors, original seats inside, original wood in the back of this thing. It's got dents in it, but there's no real rot in the truck. There's no, no rot in the floors at all. So really, really good truck. 12.5 on it, make me an offer on it. 72 Ford, it's a half ton short bed Ford. It's an XLT, came out of North Carolina. It's rusty, cab floor is rough in it. Has a title, 360 V8 under the hood. Missing a steering column. We're asking 2,500 bucks on this one. Nice cheap project for somebody. Here we got a 48 or 49 Ford F1. 
Real nice patina. Came out of Kansas. Half ton short bed Ford F1. All matching patina. Truck's not missing anything. Flathead V8 under the hood's locked up. We're asking 6,500 bucks on this one. I did price it last week for 5,500. I can say with certainty like that's it at 55. I can kind of help with shipping from there, but it's going to be 5,500 bucks on this one is like the bottom dollar. But I think that's really cheap. Sold this one. Another 48, 49 F1. This one same thing. 5,500 bucks is it. Half ton short box Ford black patina. Six cylinder under the hood also locked up a good title on both of those trucks here we got the 29 ford model a it's a tudor sedan no rot anywhere in this car came out of montana there's no rot in the wheelhouses in the back of the body anywhere it's just a really straight true this is a survivor right here motors locked up good title on it ask it 7500 bucks i've never put this out for sale if anybody needs this this came off uh, this came out from underneath rather a 48 ish Chevy cab over. This is a running driving drive line. A buddy of mine sold me in Pittsburgh here. He bought the truck for the cab to build a uh, rollback. He sold this to me. I bought it for parts. It was a long time ago I bought it and I haven't pulled any parts off it yet. So if you need this, it's a 235 six cylinder transmission. I don't know if I'd really want to part it, but if you're interested in the whole thing, get a hold of me. 412-335-6100. We have to talk about price on that one. I really don't know. 39 GMC cab over here super rare truck i actually can't believe this is still here factory four-wheel drive there's a afkx series or something i think this was a part of the ordnance department in the military this was a bomb setting vehicle it had a big like crane style boom on the back of it that would just pick them up out of crates and set them in the ditch is what we were told it runs and drives technically it stops the brakes aren't working but the emergency brakes working we're asking fifteen thousand on this truck which honestly is i think is really really reasonable i know where there's another one of these sitting in a pasture and the guy wants 13 grand for it so this one being run drive titled 15,000 make me an offer on it I, I do want to get rid of it I got to turn some stuff around here but that's that's pretty fair money and we can ship anything in this yard anything you guys want I can get it right to your doorstep so take shipping out of the equation if you're worried about whether it'll fit on your trailer or if your truck will make it here or whatever don't worry about it I'll ship it right to your door we can build it into the deal 54 GMC cab over hopefully working out a deal with a guy now but if you're interested in it runs drives uh, again brakes don't work right but emergency brake tail shaft brake works 302 six cylinder 450 model this is the bigger wider model just measured it for a guy today it's 21 feet long this is the one that you'd want to use as a basis for a rollback because the wheelbase is nice and long whereas this one's good two three feet shorter than on the 39 this truck asking 14,000 on it is virtually rot free out of montana good title on it really really nice truck oh is it nice to get shape okay so two things here we got 56 it's a c500 56 ford cab over v8 under the hood or under the cab right cab over engine locked up motor good title really really solid western kansas truck mostly just dents in it got a little bit of rust in the floor but nice overall matching patina got plenty of wheelbase to do your rollback project so one year only cab so the 56 is at those vertical weight pillars and that wraparound windshield whereas the 53 4 5 had kind of just a flat windshield very similar to this style here so the 56 is one year only that's a really cool truck we're asking 11,000 on that one but make me an offer on it here this is a uh, really hard to find so this is another um, technically a two-year cab here so this is a 54 or 55 first series this is the first year for the solid front windshield but this literally is only ran in 1954 in the 1955 first series trucks solid cab really hard to find cab it has a little bit of rust in it but it's very very solid so if you have an east coast truck this is going to be literally 10 times better than that asking 2800 on this cab and i'm not one of those guys that strips my cabs down to sell them some of these guys will get 2500 bucks for this with no doors on it no dashboard no door hardware no wipers and like literally they strip it down and they get that kind of money so 2800 bucks you get all the door guts you get the whole dashboards in this one the heater's still in this the only thing i took out of it was a seat because i need seats all the time and that's it so 2800 on that uh, I got this old cab over front clip. That's 1500 bucks. Uh, I think I paid two grand for that. So that's like a get out of here. You could put the trim from the hood on eBay and get 800 bucks of your money back. Uh, I got this little gas pump deal. It's probably going to Carlisle, but if anybody wants it now, 1300 bucks on the gas pump. 
So this is an early cab. So this is a 47 Chevy cab. So this would have been a truck that had the gas tank underneath the bed. So this doesn't have a gas filler cut into the cab. Unfortunately, this one is going to need a floor pan in it, but it is an earlier cab. So it comes with doors, it comes with door hardware, dashboard hardware, that kind of thing. So we're going to be at 1500 on this cab, which is really reasonable considering what we get out of a solid cab. And this one's not that bad. This is still better than your East Coast trucks. And it's really not awful. I mean, it's not all blown out in here like all the East Coast trucks are. So the doors are pretty solid on it. So 1500 on this does need inner kick panels and inner floor. So here we have early Ford bed. Not super sure on the year. Had these for a long time. They had like the teardrop swoop fender on it. That bed is 400 bucks. This is the F6 cab. It's a cab over cab. No title on it. I do have the front clip up top of the container if anybody wants it with this. Uh, the cab by itself is 2500 with doors as you see it. Everything but the seats. Front clip is going to be two grand on that one. That's a pretty nice solid front clip out of Utah with the trim on it and the grill. All right, we got one more. Well, we got a couple more things here. A little hard to see because we got them all like stuff tossed on top of them. But the dots and half car sides are over here. I'll knock this down to a thousand bucks a piece. We should do a reel on the math and how terribly I lost on that whole deal with that car. At a thousand a piece, I probably have 3,500 bucks into getting that car to that point. So great wall hangers. All the tires are stacked up for it. Rims and tires in front of the cab over truck. This thing actually looks killer just sitting on the ground with the wheels in it because it looks like it's bagged and it's slammed on the ground. If I end up having to keep them, that's what I'm going to do with them. I'm just going to make them decor. But thousand bucks a piece, I'm losing real bad on this. Ford F100, again, restaurant decor, bar decor, man cave decor, whatever you want to do with it. You do 1200 bucks on that. Really nice teal color. Has the whole, you know, half the, half the front of the truck and half the back of the truck. Really, really cool piece there. We got one more cab over here. So up on top of that container is like a 52 International cab. It's an L110, so it's a half ton uh, box or half ton truck cab. Got that out of Western Kansas. It's real solid, dinged up, dented up. I do 800 bucks on that cab, which is that's really cheap. So the rest of these small parts and stuff we'll be getting through as we get closer to Carlisle. This week we're gearing up to get out of town. We're gonna go show you guys the Impala on the inside of the building, um, and that's it. I got two gas pumps here, one Erie, which is pretty hard to pump to find. This one here, I believe is a Wayne. Yeah, Wayne, I'm not sure on the model. 13 bucks either way, 1300 bucks. Got a little Vespa over here. Love to get rid of this thing. A uh, thousand bucks, it runs and drives. Do a golf cart surgery today. I got those new uh, kind of rocker moldings that were always missing since I, the first time I had to bought this thing. All right, 64 Impala SS four-speed convertible. Has a lot of rust, yes it does. It does not have a title, but it's a real SS four-speed car. I'm asking 28,000 for it. Runs, drives, stops, I'll get it to California cheap. You can get a title for it in California. You can get a title for it in a lot of states. I will help the buyer get the title. Let me know if you're interested in the car. This week's the right week to make an offer on the car if you're really interested in it. It needs partial floor, full trunk, quarters, rocker, the typicals, uh, driver's side, rear, and frame are all got a rock spot in it. And it is not the original 327. It's a 68 327, but it rips and it runs really, really good. Make sure you check out the YouTube video on all of our stuff. Make sure you check it out on this car. And that's it for this week's walk around. So let me know if you're interested. It's a great week to make an offer. We are going out of town next week. We're going out west to go shopping. I got bills to pay. I got no room in the yard across the street, as you guys can see. So it's time to turn some stuff over, make some space, turn some money around, and go have some more fun and do it all over again. So hit me up, 412-335-6100. If you're interested in anything I got, Let's put your deal together, make me an offer. Make sure you check out the website, ironcitygarage.com. Get yourself a t-shirt. And if you have any cars like this, convertibles, Mustang fastbacks, patina trucks, whatever, and you want to sell it, we want to know about it, 412-335-6100 or ironcitygarage at gmail.com. Send me photos, and we'll see if we can't put a deal together. Thanks for watching. Let's get your deal going this week. Make me an offer.